Welcome to today's show called Beyond, Beyond Our, Our Galaxy. Galaxy. Today's show is titled Defining More Astronomy. Ever since man arrived at the moon, his desire to learn more about the universe still continues. Houston, should we abort mission? Over! Negative, Apollo. Repeat. Negative. Do not abort mission. Do you copy? Over. Roger, Houston. We copy. Over. Wait a minute, guys. Frank, did you just see what I saw outside the window there? Apollo, this is Houston. What do you guys see up there? Over. For thousands of years, man has looked up into the night sky to see many wonders of the universe. He has discovered thousands of galaxies like this Andromeda galaxy located some 2.5 light years away from Earth. Here are some awesome pictures of space to enjoy viewing in the next few pictures. With the placing of the Hubble Space Telescope into space above Earth, man has been able to discover and reach out further than ever before with his Hubble Space Telescope. And be able to discover awesome things like this, an object in space called a quasar. But for now, we Earthlings should ask this question. What? is space. Here are two definitions of what space could be. One, an area of continual expanse that is free, available, and unoccupied. Two, the area of the height and width within which things move. Here we see the objects we call planets occupying an area that is free and available for them to do so. We Earthlings need to remember one thing about space. While on Earth, there is a North, South, East, West, Up, Down, Left, Right, and Space, these directional dimensions don't exist. One more thing doesn't exist as well in space. Sound. Why? There is no air in space, and in order for sound to exist, it needs air to travel through it. So now we Ask our next space question on today's show. What is astronomy?
Astronomy is a science that studies celestial objects, space, and other physical objects of the universe found in it. Astronomy includes the study of the following subjects. Mathematics, chemistry, geography, meteorology. A comment like this one would be a part of the definition of astronomy since it is a celestial body moving through space. We now ask the next question for today's show. What is an orbit? It is a path of a celestial object that travels around a larger object. Here the planet Mercury orbits the sun once every 88 days. Do all the planets in our solar system orbit the sun in the same kind of manner? The answer is yes. As seen in this picture below, all the planets in our solar system orbit around the sun in the same way. We Earthlings live in a very orderly universe. What is a planet? A planet is a body that orbits a star like the sun or another star in the universe. Jupiter's small moons orbit it, as seen here in this picture, as well. What keeps these objects orbiting the sun or another body in space? Gravity. It is Sir Isaac Newton's laws of gravity that keeps everything in its place. Earth's moon is held in place by gravity. What is a moon? A moon is this. It is a solid, solid object that rotates in a silico motion around another body or planet. Earth's moon is about 236,000 miles away from it. It takes the moon about 27.5 days to orbit Earth. The first Earthling to step both feet on the moon was on July 20th, 1969. Today, astronaut Neil Armstrong's footprint is still left on the moon. Uh, Houston, you won't believe what we just saw outside our window, over. Uh, try us, Apollo. Anything is possible in space. We just saw a UFO taking off into space ahead of us. Over. Uh, Roger, Apollo, we copy that. We'll have one of our Air Force jets uh, check it over, Apollo, over. Computer, can you get us back up into space through hyperspeed before that jet finds us? Computer is recalculating. Hurry, computer! There's an earthling jet coming towards us! Ah, uh, Houston, you aren't going to believe what I just saw, over! Ah, uh, try us, Colonel, over! I just saw Captain Armstrong's UFO fly by me! Over!
We now ask this next question. What is a star? A star is made up of the following things. Gas, dust, hydrogen, and helium. A star, then, is a large, self-luminous, heavenly body. The North Star is the brightest star in the night sky. Can you find the North Star in this picture? As seen here, you can follow the arrow and you'll be able to find it. In the night sky, there are many stars that also form what we call constellations. What is a constellation? A constellation is a pattern, form, or shape of a historical or mythical person, animal, or object. Here is an example of the pattern of the constellation called Hercules. There are a total of some 88 constellations in the night sky. There are both northern and southern constellations. Northern constellations. Southern constellations. There are also 12 constellations called the Zodiac, which Earth orbits around during each of its season. The Zodiac. Our next question is this. What is a supernova? A supernova is a star that increases in brightness just as it begins to explode its great mass. Here is a supernova explosion found in the Crab Nubula as it exploded in 1054 AD. Here are some awesome pictures to view of some awesome supernovas in the next few scenes. Our next logical question is this. What is nuclear fusion? The sun operates on nuclear fusion. Hydrogen and helium are constantly being changed into energy. Warning, never look directly at the sun with your eyes. Always use an alternative method like filters or cardboard to reflect the sun's image. However, here are some more awesome pictures one can 
view safely of the sun to enjoy it. What is a sunspot? A sunspot is a dark spot seen on the surface of the sun as shown here in this picture. We earthlings here on earth could literally be swallowed up into one of these giant sunspots. Temperature of the sun, core 27 million degrees hot, surface 10 million degrees hot. The sun creates what we earthlings all need, light. What is light? Light comes from what we call Electromagnetic radiation. Light comes from photons. Light comes from the following rays of the sun. Alpha rays, beta rays, gamma rays, ultraviolet rays. Here is a picture diagram of the different kinds of rays that come from the sun to give light to earth. Light gives us warmth and life to everything that exists in our universe. Without light, our universe would be cold, dark and lonely place to live. What is a metal galaxy? A metal galaxy is the entire system of galaxies that also include our very own Milky Way galaxy. What is an occultation? An occultation is when one object in space, like the moon, slowly emerges from behind an another one. Here the planet Venus is emerging from coming behind the Earth's moon. Finally, what is a rocket? A rocket is a cylindrical projectile that can be launched into space at a very high altitude. Dr. Robert Goddard from 1882 to 1945 is considered to be the father of rocketry. Dr. Goddard launches his first rocket on March 16, 1926. Dr. Goddard uses liquid fuel to launch his rocket toward space and some as fast as 550 miles per hour. We Earthlings have indeed come a long way in space travel from the launching of the first rocket to leaving his footprint permanently on the moon. Computer, give me all the super hyper drive you got now. Affirmative. Yeah.
Tall power! Computer! Computer! We're not breaking up at all! Captain, I've got a radio signal on floor, sir. Are you sure, Nick? Affirmative, sir. I have a mod visual. It's Thor, sir. Captain Sagittarius to Thor. Can you hear us? Over. Thor to Captain. We read you loud and clear, sir. Over. Okay, Thor, come on home with us now. Over. Roger, Captain. Computer, full hyperspeed ahead. I knew you could do it, Computer. Was there any doubt? No, not at all, computer. Hey, Thor, it's good to see you again. Well, thanks, gal. It was quite an adventure, if I may say so. That's what the Corps is all about, Thor. It's not just another job. Beyond, Beyond our, our galaxy. galaxy.